So pretty much three rules. So can you sell them? Yep. Do they sell? Yep, definitely. And if you're going to do it, good condition or acceptable, nothing better than that. Make sure you cover up the barcodes if they're on the back of the book so that an Amazon employee doesn't scan that thinking it's your FN SKU. And step three, make sure you say in the description that it's a former or ex library book and you'll be off and running. So stop passing up on these library books, add them to your arsenal. It's a great way to make some money selling books. Awesome. So there you guys go. Straight from the horse's mouth. That's it. Mic drop. You say hi. Hey. <laughs> What's up, you two? It's Eliza and Craig with ECW Solutions. Everyone can win, and we just won. Tell them how we won, baby. Well, we decided to uh, check out our... Wait, 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 wait. We decided? We Cause decided. Didn't I say I was going to the library? Mm, after I told them that they have used books there, mm. like about a month ago. But not for sale. For sale. When did Anyways, you know that, though? Okay. Like, I'm just messing with Ashley you. told us. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. He but, did. He just, he's getting a little up there in age, so he didn't remember. But yeah. we'll, we'll give him a pass this time. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, so we went to our local library. We live in a very, very small town, about 1,100 people. In the sticks, baby, in the country. <laughs> but um, after we spent about two and a half, three hours of going through their four cell books, which they had quite a few, um, we ended up being able to arrange about 80 books for hmm, 31 cents a piece. 25 bucks. For the whole batch. Because I thought that, well, like, you know, they have it listed, which is cool, you know. We put them in, in stacks around the price that we thought, so we thought we were going to be paying like five bucks for the stacks. For stack, yeah. And then she was like, oh, we'll just charge $25. And then it cost us $25 and a, uh, what do you call it when you do your daily good deed? A good deed for a young lady who didn't have change for a copy. A copy yeah. So, so actual price was twenty five dollars and twenty cents. Uh, twenty five fifty cents. Fifty cents because yeah. we gave twenty five cents. So that means the next thing we're doing is going to the next library. Well, and let's back up a minute. So minimum profit on those average we figured is going to be about five dollars a book because we made sure we didn't do anything that wasn't at least a three dollar profit yep. um so we're looking about a 375 dollar profit and we have some research to do because in fact uh please like share subscribe that would be cool because we need all the subscriptions that we can get uh to our channel but if you can put in the comments how you go about figuring out whether a book at a used or thrift store for example is new or used right because there are some that were you they were they were new they weren't red at all yeah and they were donated so they're, they're definitely donated. new but you know that there's always that question of well they were you know already purchased by somebody else so can yeah. you count them as new, count even them as new? They, yeah they didn't even, you know break the binding yet and we're not trying to be greedy no, no, i no. mean well i mean i'm not trying to be greedy but it would seem like we're being greedy if for example we charge I, I don't know if you got a gift from somebody and they bought it for you but you didn't use it you didn't even take it out of the box you can't count it as new you can't count you it cannot. as new for books or for stuff for in general thing for Amazon. really yes that's are you serious i'm serious i've never even you have it. to have a receipt from a new store well don't people only give gifts now with receipts so you can take it back well you can take it back and rebuy it or you have to show, because Amazon can ask you for a bank statement showing yeah. that you've got that purchase as well from your bank statement. You have to have a receipt if they, if they wanted to question it enough. I've seen them, huh. I've seen several people um, account get put on hold until they provided all that documentation. Yes, a so, receipt. Receipt and bank statement for that receipt. So you do want to err on the side of caution because you don't want complaints. and um, So it's just better just to list them as used. But still, at use, we're going to make a good profit. Yep, what she said. So, anyway, again, we're on a learning journey, just like maybe some of you guys are, so we just want to make sure that uh, we put stuff out there that gives you good advice and sound advice and correct advice, so if anyone has any comments or learned something from here, or something like, to add, please, something to add, please yeah. let us know. We, we're always up for learning. 
and maybe even something that you might want to see from us. So, you know, I do my driving thing, which I'm doing right now. And I do it, I don't know, every other day, every day. Can't do it at night because then you guys wouldn't see me. Like right now, you probably can't see me because <laughs> yes, my Wesley snipe ass anyway. <laughs> All right, so BCW, everybody can win. Peace.